the summer of 2018, I backed an interesting little instrument on Kickstarter, and now in September of 2020, I finally got it. It is the oddball. Now I've never really been one for using Kickstarter. I've always heard the stories of people running off with money or releasing products which were nowhere near as good as the original concepts and it just kind of scared me off it a little bit. But when I saw oddball and it's simple yet fun looking concept I thought why has no one made this before? I want to give it a try. Oh, ho, ho. look at the packaging on this guy. It's got like a psychedelic silver black combination and it just looks fantastic. Is this metal? This is actually some of the best packaging I've seen all year. And here is the oddball. And I know what you're thinking, it just looks like a ball. But trust me, it's more than just the ball. Believe it or not, this little thing is actually a drum machine. They just managed to make it so compact they can fit it into a palm-sized ball. And the basic concept of the old ball is that you can throw it around, you can bounce it off tables, play hacky sack with it, you can do pretty much whatever you want with it, all while making sweet, sweet music. Which if you ask me, sounds pretty fun. Now to make said sweet, sweet music, you're gonna need the Oddball app. And it's a very simple app to use. Just turn on the old ball by hitting it or bouncing it. Let's, let's try bouncing. This table was not made for that. And it is on. Then just connect it up to your device using the app. Then you can start loading sounds onto your ball. Simply click on add sounds to your oddball and then you've got a few different genres to choose from. You've got disco, you've got grime, hip hop and rock. And each one has their own unique sounds. So let's go ahead, start with grime and see how that sounds. And this is where I started to run into some problems. First of all, it turns out that my audio recorder is rubbish at recording phone audio. And second, you can't record phone audio with an Android device because screen recording apps just don't allow you to do it. But luckily for me, I got my hands on an iPad mini and despite the app looking like it wasn't designed with tablets in mind, it works absolutely fine and I record the device's audio using iOS's screen recorder. So now we can finally test out how this thing sounds. Let's get those grime sounds, shall we? Oh yeah, that sounds good. Let's try the, is that a choir? That's, that's definitely a choir. Is this just like a high five? Okay, did not expect that. And when you're selecting your sounds, you can also customize the pitch with this little slider here. So if you want it slightly higher, slide it this way. Or if you want it lower, slide it all the way down here which is quite a nice touch. And once you've selected all the sounds that you want to use, you can then just slide between each one so you don't have to keep going through all those menus. Now the oddball is pressure sensitive, so depending how hard you hit it or bounce it, you're gonna get a different sound. So for example, if I tap the oddball, you get the bass drum, and if you wanna get the snare, you gotta hit it just a bit harder. And in the middle here, you've got your looper. So to start a loop, you just hit record. It will give you a countdown before it starts. Then you can stop it. You can delete previous tracks. You can go down here and adjust the settings. So you can add a metronome. You can turn on and off hypersensitivity, which basically just makes it so you don't have to hit the ball so hard to make different sounds. You can adjust the loop length. You can adjust the tempo. And that is the basics of the app. And then you've got some extra features like effects, which you can use to modify the sound of your loops. And then you've got a little microphone icon down here, which you can use to record sounds using the in built microphone which you can then use in loops. Bop, oh, oh. Yeah, looking forward to using that one later. And if you don't want to make your own tracks, you can use the pre-made backing tracks which the app comes with to play along with. <laughs> And you can also use the oddball when using streaming apps like Spotify. So say if you're listening to Nickelback and you want to make it sound like more of a live experience, you can do that. Now let's try and make a serious loop. Can't believe that was the first loop I made in this whole entire video. Kind of embarrassing, really. I like that track way more than I expected. So I'm gonna save it. So if you just go to the share button in the bottom right here, you can just name your track, you can save it, and you can also share it to other people with the Oddball app so they can take it and modify it, do whatever they want. Anyway, let's make a new loop.
Who would have thought putting a drum machine inside a bouncy ball would be so much fun? Well, me, I guess, because I backed it on Kickstarter. Another neat feature is that if you have more than one oddball, you can link them all up to the app, assign different sounds to them, and then you could juggle them, or you could like lay them out on a table and use them as a tiny drum kit. Let's go ahead and make one more tune before we call it a day. And for this one, I'm gonna use the shuffle function. So first things first, I'm gonna select a load of different sounds. So I'm gonna go to arcade, let's get Pac-Man, go into disco, grab a cymbal, whatever this is, let's grab one of those. Go into grime, select the choir, as I never actually used that one. Let's even use some of the sounds that I recorded. Oh, <laughs> forgot I even made that one. Is that a gun? Sure, why not? Let's grab a guitar, a bass, a bass drum. And in world sounds, let's go for a ocarina, a handpan, and a uh, triangle. And then once you've got all the sounds that you want to use, just hit record, then hit the shuffle button. And every single time a loop finishes, it will select a different sound. So let's roll with that and see what we can make. We've tried out a load of instruments over the course of 2020, and I've got to say, this one might be the funnest. The Oddball is a drum machine which removes the limitations of being stuck at your desk with a keyboard or a synthesizer, and you can just make beats anywhere. You can be halfway up a mountain and making beats on this thing. Saying that, obviously this thing doesn't have as many features as your bigger and more expensive drum machine, so some of you out there will see the Oddball as more of a toy, but that doesn't mean that you can't get some good and very much usable beats out of this thing. And I'm sorry if this edit comes across as a bit creepy. It's amazingly durable, you could punch it, you can kick it, you can throw it up against walls, you could probably throw it down said mountain, and it will be absolutely fine. The only real problem that I have with it is that the app does get laggy from time to time, so it can make it tricky to make a good beat, or if you hit the stop button, it will take a while for it to catch up. Stuff like that, which is just a bit annoying. But as it's a brand new instrument from a brand new company, I don't exactly expect them to get everything right from the get-go, but what they did get right is fantastic. But honestly, this thing is just so much fun, so if you're looking for a drum machine which is just a bit, you know, odd, go ahead and try this guy out. And with that, I think that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. Shout out to Kigama Adams, Natasha Savage, Pikafoop, and Luna on Patreon. Thank you very much for your support, and if you like this video, hit like. If you like all our videos, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. You can also follow us on our social pages, and if you want to support the channel further, check out the link in the description to our Patreon page. You can also join us on our Discord server. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.